Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Saturday, which means it's time for us to finally get back to Kaiji. I know. Kaiji is like the fucking red-headed stepchild. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. I know. I know. But we're back in, but we're back in here. The only funny thing is the people who, like, watch this series after it's completely done, they have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so we're back at Kaiji. Uh, we're coming up on the on the end. It's got like what, like twenty six, twenty five episodes, and we're on like what episode are we even on? We're on episode twenty two. So we've got like three left, to, three left to go. Um, so in our last episode, uh, well, Kaiji double or nothing. Uh, he's like, oh yeah, no, I'll, I'll go again. I'll, I'll sacrifice my other ear. Fuck you. Um, and he's going in there. Uh, he bamboozled Tonagawa a little bit. Uh, by s switching which cards had blood on them to fucking bamboozle the boy. And we left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger to see, like, hey, yo, like, what's... Who's winning? Who's winning here? And it's basically, this is boiled down to just, like, really, really poor applications of game theory. And, like, it, 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 this, it, this show has turned from, like, a, okay, here's, like, a, a little, little strategy we're going to do here into, my deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba! Blue eyes, white dragon, destroy his penis. I mean, but I guess it's a fucking anime about card games, so I guess like it has to turn into that eventually. I'm, I'm, I'm fully waiting for the new Kaiji reboot coming this year, where they're going to be playing fucking e card on fucking motorcycles. I am waiting for that. But let's get in here and see how our boy does, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh shit! But yeah, fully, fully waiting. Fully waiting for, like, fucking Kaiji reboot. Card games on motorcycles. Oh, God. The, the shit thing is, I actually really like Kaiji. Like, like it's, it's like, my favorite. I don't know. I just really like the idea that Kaiji's just, like, the entire premise is that one meme image I've got saved on my phone. If I can get it off my phone and into my fucking, onto my computer without, yeah, without fucking getting annoyed... Uh, it's basically, it's like, Kaiji just opens his purse. Oh no, I've got 100 yen, one 100 yen coin. What should I do? And he just looks up. Unemployment office. Bullshit gambling that will kill you. And he just zooms right into the second building. Like, that's the entire premise of Kaiji, and I, I fucking love it. I just really wish they were a little bit more better at the actual gambling themselves, you know what I mean? Like, like, or just like... The game theory to it, you know? Because it's really cool just to see Tonagawa just be like, Oh god, oh fuck, oh shit! But, I don't know, I think it'd be cooler if there was more like an actual fucking card game, you know? Like with the bamboozling you do with that. Oh no, Kaiji, I can't believe it, my Kaiji, you're gonna die! Oh god, oh fuck! Yeah, so Tonagawa was gonna put down an emperor because he saw the blood, and then he's like, Oh no, you bamboozled me, so I, you, mm. I'm waiting for the bamboozle of bamboozle. Like, I, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for his bamboozle to be bamboozled. Really? His nose makes him look like a bird. Oh my god, they're, they're just going right in there to like, aha, here's my zen philosophy, fuck you. Now what do you see me as, Kaiji? A bitch. Okay, where's the bamboozle here? Is the bamboozle the kaiji didn't actually bamboozle him? Is is that the bamboozle? You fool! You've been counter bamboozled! <laughs> Exodia! Obliterate!
Oh my god. My mans got bamboozled by the fact that there was no bamboozle. What a fucking idiot. I, I, I'm pretty sure I actually called that, but that was like three weeks ago, so I have no idea. Watch Tonagawa just hits the fucking button anyway. Like, fuck you! Pew. He's still holding on to that worthless piece of paper. What? I can't hear you guys. I'm missing one ear and the other one has a fucking suction cup on it. I can't hear shit. I sure hope that fucking remote doesn't land on the button that kills Kaiji. Man, that, that could have been a real bad end if that landed just a little bit wrong, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, my man's out here like, yeah, I was, I was thinking about it, but then I decided I wasn't going to be an asshole. Aha, uh -huh, you fool, I bamboozled you into thinking there was a bamboozle, but in reality, there was no bamboozle. Except for this bamboozle, where I bamboozled your bamboozle. Ha ha! Because he knew you'd be a dumb idiot that would assume he would cheat because it's what you would do. He literally just hits you with that no curse knowledge, my dude. He literally just said, You look at me and see a snake because you're looking in a mirror. You're thinking what you're thinking what you would do, and you would switch the cards. God, Tonagawa is just a big dumb idiot. Damn. Kaiji literally out here being like, yeah, no, I knew you would do this because I respect you. So I use that respect to fucking kill you. Fuck you. I'm waiting for Grandpa to be like, okay, well, I've he heard enough. Just pull out a gun and shoot Tonagawa in the back of the head. Go on home, Kaiji. Have a nice day. My man's literally out here bamboozled him <laughs> just fucking to death. <laughs> Kaiji literally out here just... <laughs> oh, he's dead. Fucking that my man just been hit with the mind break tag. Kaiji Kaiji literally just fucking killed this man with words. Alright, and he gets and he gets the money. Twenty point one million yen. Alright, so let's, uh, how much is that in, in dollars? My man's literally out here just be like, nah man, you just fucked up. Okay, so 186,000. Seven hundred and fifty-nine dollars and fifty-nine cents. That is a lot of money. 
That is a lot of money. That's... That... I don't know, man. So, Kaiji, take this gun and pop this motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking Gramps literally out here, just like, goddamn. Well, maybe it's because, like, I mean, if his de if his if his fucking debts are anything like the fucking debts that, like, we've seen the rest of the Yakuza's put in, like, I mean, I, I imagine it's probably very difficult for them to pay it back, my dude. Holy shit. I mean, the first fucking th option is just don't fucking take out debts that you can't fucking pay back. Like, seriously, man, I'm, I'm never taking out a debt unless I know I'm going to be able to fucking pay it back within a year. I mean, that man got all fucked up. I mean, hey, at least healthcare in Japan is free. Okay, I'm here. Like, I, I heard the fucking wheels coming in. What is he rolling in? What is he rolling in? Oh my fucking god! He's gonna barbecue the man! And I thought Yakuza's fucking barbecue, like, barbecue, I thought Yakuza's fucking cutting off people's pinky fingers was rough. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure that will kill him. I'm pretty sure that will actually kill him. Burning metal held to the human skull, specifically the skull of an older gentleman, for 10 seconds, I'm fairly certain that will actually roast, like, fry the brain and kill you. I don't know. That sounds like a death sentence. Fucking Kaiji's like, yo, what the fuck is this grandpa on? Grandpa's on some shit, what the fuck? Fucking Kaiji just like, man, grandpa saw some shit in the world war, holy fuck! Pop Pop didn't come back from Okinawa right in the head, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might as well just give Kaiji a gun. Just give Kaiji a gun and just have him shoot Tonagawa to death. Be more direct, at least. <laughs> fucking Tonagawa's just fucking brain is dead. Oh my god. Like, I'm waiting for Tonagawa to just fucking snap and go postal. Holy shit. They have a- they have a way to force him to apologize. 
Doesn't this go against what he just said about sincerity if he's forcing him to do it with a machine? I don't, I don't know, my dude. I think this defeats the purpose of your fucking sincerity here. I don't know. Oh, that, that really did need that burst of steam from the pee hitting the fucking plate, my dude. God damn. Seriously, man. Pop-Pop Pop -Pop came back from Okinawa on some shit. Like, fucking, like, the bonsai, the bonsai charge in fucking Iwo Jima did some shit to him. I don't know, man. Fucking Jesus Christ. Man, Tonagawa, if Tonagawa does it first try, like, goddamn. Like, the show should be over by now, my dear. Like, fucking Kaiji won. Not only did Kaiji win, he won, he doubled down and continued to win. And the show's just like, nah, man, we gotta have 26 episodes. We gotta have 26 episodes, and we gotta have the remaining, the remaining four just Tonagawa fucking burning his testicles off on the fucking, on a fucking heated barbecue. Holy shit. Aha, but the big twist is Tonagawa is wearing a fireproof suit. Fucking Christ, that old man. That old man, oh god. If Kaiji hadn't been asking for this apology, he wouldn't be... He, no, this wouldn't happen. He's fucking just powering through! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, that is more than 10 seconds by now, I'm pretty sure. Holy shit, they are stretching that 10 seconds out. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the devil. I feel like that's a fucking... I feel like the devil is a... Uh, it's only been three seconds? Or four seconds by the time he noticed? Because you're a, because you're an empathetic human being. Like that's what those tears are for. Tonagawa might be a monster, but goddamn. Oh man, he went for extra. Tonagawa went for twelve. <laughs> Fuck it. Does he get like some extra credit at least? Holy shit. There is no point of that except to show us that Pop Pop's on some shit. That's it. But we already kind of knew that because we've been dealing with him for the last four episodes. Holy shit balls, dude. You're, you're, oh god, he's going to start shit with Pop Pop now, isn't he? Kaiji, take your $156,000 and fucking go. My dude, you have enough money that you could live, like, relatively comfortably for a long-ass fucking time.
Take the bunny and go! Oh my god, my dude! I think I know how they fucking wind up with a second season of this. Kaiji's gonna do something stupid and wind up with no money. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm Audi 500 after this season's done. Holy shit. I mean, half the people who died, I mean, fucking the guy with the number 10 looks like Ishida anyway. You can just call him Ishida 2. Like, that guy even kind of looks like Sarada, to, uh, uh, fucking Sahara a little bit. Fucking dye his hair, fucking give him a haircut. Like, the people that died aren't exactly unique there, my dude. God, my man's out here just fucking bleeding to death. I mean, I don't think it's really a fucking ear wound as much as it's the ear fucking missing. After all this time? I don't think so, my dude. But, like, seriously, honestly, if I was him, I would take that money and get the fuck out of Japan. Take the money, go to the hospital, go to the emergency room, get the ear reattached, and get the fuck out. Go to somewhere in Europe where the fucking yen goes far. Go to America. Like, it's the 90s, so, like, there's still a little bit of economic benefit going on there. Like, get your money put into dollars, and then as soon as, like, 2007 comes around, fucking book it. And what... What was the point of that fucking... Oh, God, what's he doing? Oh my fucking god, Kaiji, give it up! Kaiji, no! Kaiji, no! Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Uh, Kaiji is just like a walking trash fire of a human being. Oh my god. Oh god, okay, so let's see. How, how, okay, so we got, we got, some, we got some seconds until we get like the next time on Dragon Ball Z here, so. God, man, like, as much as I'm enjoying myself here, like, once again, this is like yet another show I'm watching where it's just like, the protagonist is being so fucking stupid, it's like... Like, I can't believe it. I, I actually cannot believe how fucking stupid they are. Oh my god, dude. Fucking... So what's, what's your plan with the tissue box, my dude? Fuck. Doing some paper craft over there, like... Like, he's just gonna wind out here with, like, fucking no, no way to get his ear reattached. Like, then he'll be fucked, because guess, guess who doesn't do well in Japan? People that have been, have lost fucking body parts, because that's a clear sign of mafia involvement. Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, God. Like, like, I, I know, like, I, I fucking, I, I let Kaiji sit, like, a lot. 
Like, I should have been done with it by now, but, like, just shit just happens. Uh, but it's like, every time I come back to it, I just have this moment of, like, oh, cool, Kaiji solves the problem. Kaiji, no. Kaiji, no, the problem is solved. Kaiji, no, Kaiji. Kaiji, please. Most shows only get fucking, like, 24 episodes. You're coming up on 26. Kaiji, please. <laughs> like, oh, God. You know, like, most fucking shows... Like, most fucking shows, like, they would have, like... Like, this, like, the episode, this episode would have happened, Kaiji would have won, he would have got his money, he would have had, like, said all the goodbyes to, the, like, all people, and we would have got, like, basically a couple episodes of victory lap of Kaiji, like, enjoying his life before season two kicks off and some fucking shit pushes his fucking dick in. Instead, Kaiji's like, I'm gonna kill the fucking patriarch of the Yakuza, fuck it, let's go. Like, oh god, my dude, like, Kaiji, Kaiji is such a dumb boy, like... Uh, but, like, I love it, you know? Like, it's, it's one of those things where I'm just, like, like externally, I'm like, No! Kaiji, please, no! You've got a, you've got a family, probably. I don't know, actually, enough about your private life. But I'm assuming you have a family, like a sibling or a parent or something. Please. Oh, God. But it's, like... <laughs> like, it's kind of like in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you're just, like, does... You're, you're just, like, eventually the shadow games get so ridiculous, you're just, like, does... 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 Is, is this shit making Yuki hard? Like, is that why he wears, like, such skinny jeans? Because, like, he, he's just trying to fucking maintain the boner he gets from this fucking shadow game? Is that... Is that what got, like, that's the sensation I'm fucking getting here, my dude. Like, 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 Kaiji, are you, are you erect right now, Kaiji? Kaiji, Kaiji, do you have a, a boner right now? Are you, are you erect from the thought that you might just fucking die playing this children's card game? Fucking cringe, my dude. Holy shit. <laughs> like, you know, like, it's like... Like, that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Um, oh, God, but it's still fucking great. Like, I, I really like, I, I do, as, as dumb as I think it is, as much as I'm just like, man, come the fuck on, you're, you're just trying to just drag this out. Like, I, from a characterization perspective, I really like just how Kaiji managed to just win by just deconstructing Tonegawa as a person. Like, Tonegawa sees Kaiji as a snake, and, and as a result, fucking, like, he played the way that he would play. Like he's like, okay, so if it, if I was him, because I'm a snake, I would switch the cards and do all this. And, but like, no, Kaiji is a is a pure boy who has respect for Tonegawa and the fact that Tonegawa is a big dick boy who has probably been playing this game for longer than Kaiji's been alive. So he's like, okay, I'm not taking no fucking chance. I'm gonna do this bamboozle, but it's not really a bamboozle because if he's expecting a bamboozle, okay. Okay, like, this will make me win. But if he's not expecting a bamboozle and he's playing it straight, I'm gonna die. But because he's such a good, such, such, such like a skilled player of this game, there's no way he wouldn't expect a bamboozle at this point in the game. Like, like it's a really smart way of doing it. Like, very much smarter than the shit before where it was just like, like, ah, I was reading the fucking, your heartbeat through your fucking dick, my dude. Like... Like, it's, like, that right there is actually what I've wanted this whole time. Just this idea of just, like, actual fucking, uh, game stuff happening, you know? Just, like, like fucking, like, reads and fucking counterplays and, and shit like that. Like, that's, that's good. I, I like that. Give me more of that in my fucking card-based fucking anime. Um... And I guess, like, it sets the, it sets the chairman up as, as more of a villain. Um... And, and just, like, kind of just, like, showing the way, like, he basically deals with people. Like, the way he, like, forces them to apologize on a fucking hot fucking bed of, bed of fire. And if they refuse, then he has a machine to force them to do it. Like, that's pretty metal, and that sets him up as a really big bad guy. But my fear is, is that Kaiji's gonna defeat him at episode 26. It's like, well... We like why not have it be that Kaiji defeats Tonagawa and leaves, and you have that set up, yes, but then you save actually defeating him until season two, and you actually have him be a long form villain. It seems like there's a lot of there's a lot of legs for the chairman that you could that you could do for him doing villainous shit, and they're just being like, nah, last minute season two villain Tonagawa wasn't enough. 
that's kind of annoying. I mean, unless, of course, by the end of season one, Kaiji just fucking loses, and season two is still him fighting the chairman, it's just we don't get the satisfaction of Kaiji actually having a happy ending. But, I don't know. I don't know. But I am looking to see how Kaiji's going to play out against the chairman and how he's going to con co convince the chairman to give him another game. I imagine well, it won't be too hard because the chairman's dick is just rock fucking hard right now, but we'll have to see, won't we? But yeah, that's really all i got to say about this episode. Let me know what you thought of it down there in the comments, whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out because that's entirely possible. Oh, boy. Um... Remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, share social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below. Uh, share on the Facebook and the Twitter and the fucking Reddit, I guess. I don't know, whatever the fuck the kids are using. Um, and if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description. And on the end card, uh, there's a list, of, along with a list of all the other people that keep this stuff alive and on the air. Oh boy. Um, if you, if you do support on Patreon, not only do you get your name on that list, you also get, like, a couple of other goodies, but those are all listed on the page, so I'm not gonna go super into it, so. Yeah, as always, I am Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a round. Uh,